what's up? There's something new in my videos now. I finally got my new bookshelf. I've been talking about this for months. My dad promised me one for Christmas and it's finally here. I'm in love with it so much. I can't wait to put all my books on it. So you're about to see a sped up version of me organizing my bookshelf. This isn't going to be a full bookshelf tour. You'll definitely see some books you haven't seen yet that haven't been on my main shelf. And I'll do like a full bookshelf tour later, maybe once I get more bookcases. This is from the Leotorp series from Ikea, in case you want one as well. It comes in gray and white. It's a really beautiful, like there's nice molding and I really like it. I know it's going to like hold up. So I'm very excited about it. go. I wanted to make sure all my mass market paperbacks were together on the top row so it's the smallest. For some reason I did reverse rainbow color order. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking but I'm liking how it is right now. I'll probably readjust it and then I fit some hardbacks that I don't have quite complete sets of that kind of fit nicely. The next shelf is mostly classics except for a couple of adult books including Decipher, Toot Sweet, The Red Queen, The Paris Wife, Lady of Pin and Intent, Glass Castle, White Oleander, and then some more hardback classics and then I want to make sure the Barnes & Noble classics were together because they're very nice height. This next row has some more classics as well as adult hardcover books. There's one nonfiction thrown in there and then some other adult and classic paperback. I wanted to make sure I had space for my currently reading books, you know, just so I could like always keep an eye on them. So right now that is Life and Death by Stephanie Meyer, Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay, The Square Root of Summer by Harriet Ruder Hapgood, Writer to Writer by Gail Carson Levine, and Captive Prince by C.S. Picat, which I've actually finished and I cannot believe it's right next to my holy bible, like that was a poor decision on my part. Anyways, and then uh, some of my journals, I have like a blue leather bound one from Venice, a Harry Potter one, the purple one has Great Gatsby's 
cover on it. The brown one is leather from Montana and then a breakfast journal which I'm only halfway done with. Next are some of my series. I wish that I had another tall series like Harry Potter and Inheritance but I'll have to figure out some other rearranging of that. So I have Twilight, then The Inheritance Cycle, then my Harry Potter's, and then I'm working on getting higher covers for books two and three. And then my mostly YA and middle grade books with a couple of classics and adult books thrown in. Wanted to keep books of the same height together for the most part, save for a few exceptions. I also like to keep series together when I can. So that's the main row of 13 Reasons Why to Brain Hammerick, the Spectre Key. The next row down is trade paperbacks, so kind of by color, mostly by series, kind of interspersed. And then I have some adult books that aren't quite trade size and they're a little different, but I like the colors of Atonement and Time Traveler's Wife together. And finally, the bottom shelf. I'm not really happy with this one, but I put the shelf above it as high as it could go for my paperback so that I get like a really weird tall shelf here at the bottom. So I might need to play around with the adjustment of this or when I get more bookshelves, I'll have more space. So I have a lot of like childhood favorites over on the left hand side, some other nonfiction, except there's a random Sherlock Holmes classic down there. And then I have two of Taylor Swift's final records, Speak Now and Red, even though I do not own a record player, so that's what you need to know about me, really. Then some of my CDs, and then all my DVDs organized alphabetically. I haven't decided if I like my books being at the very edge or if I want to push them back so I can display some of my bookish items yet. So I'll decide that, but right now this is kind of a catch-all shelf until I sort things out. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching my bookshelf organization. I'll do a full bookshelf tour later once I get some space and kind of figure out how I like things and then I'll do it in the tour order of how books are set up. My name's Laura, this has been Bookies and Cookies, and I post videos mostly on Sundays and Saturdays with book reviews on Thursdays, but that's changing soon, so keep an eye out on updates on that, I suppose. I do love each and every one of you, and I hope you never forget it, and remember to take care of your books. Thanks, guys.